The winner of the SBS Cycling Central Elite Female Road Cyclist of the Year is Rachel Nalen. I have never ever been so proud to ride my bike, to inspire young women across Australia, to stand in front of you this evening and to celebrate being at the forefront of a truly magnificent, magical sport. Rachel, tell us how you got into cycling and into racing. Well, I got into cycling um, through the National Talent Identification Program, actually. Um, it was 2007 and I was travelling as an Australian physiotherapist for the Australian rowing team. You know, I was wearing green and gold, but it was actually a bit of a strange feeling because I wasn't wearing green and gold like I always envisaged as an athlete. So when I got home from this trip, I started to research women's cycling opportunities in Australia. And after some conversations with some AIS you know, staff and um, sports scientists, then I decided to apply for the, the SASE Talent Identification Program and then moved to Adelaide in, you know, a month later and started training on the bike. So it was, it all happened really fast, but um, it was an informed decision. <laughs> Well, so now you're a fully fledged cyclist. Um, what's your favourite thing about racing? Bike racing is is so complex. You know, it it involves it involves physical, it involves mental, it involves emotional facets of you know of performance. And there's never ever one thing that's consistent. You, once you feel like you um, achieve you know um, proficiency at, at one um, facet, then you know, it's time to start working on another thing. So I love, I love how there are so many different elements involved and so many different challenges. I think that's one of the most special things about bike racing. Rachel, you're a silver medalist at the World Championships, but it's been quite a journey getting there. Tell us about 2012 and where you ended up. 2012 has been quite a whirlwind. It started off well um, with my podium at um, Nationals in January. Rachel Nayland! But the, the year wasn't exactly how I envisaged in Europe. You know, a little bit of an under-resourced team and lack of exposure to racing, needing to find my own race bike in July. <laughs> so, you know, a few little hitches along the way. But once I got selected into the, the team for Worlds, it was um, such an amazing feeling and really, really so honoured to represent Australia for the first time. And then, you know, doing the race, I was, um, you know, got into the breakaway and I was doing my job and I was really proud and really happy. And, uh, and then, you know, with two laps to go, I, the responsibility fell on my shoulders and I thought, wow, okay. I had to sort of start thinking about a medal, you know, my, my whole mentality had to change from being a worker to saying, okay, this is me, this is, this is my responsibility to bring this medal home for Australia. Rachel Nalen has given this as much as she can to try and ensure a medal in these world championships. It was, you know, it was just all on. So I knew that I had to do something big. I, I can't I can't explain what, what sort of a feeling it was going up the cowboy the, the final time. It was just an incredible feeling. Rachel Nalen is going with it. Mariana Voss is the champion. Second place, the ride of the day. Rachel Nalen of Australia. And crossing the line, it was the best feeling of my life. So, so proud. And uh, in the presentation, we saw you with your hands on your face just utter disbelief. What was going through your head? Well, it was utter disbelief. I, I couldn't believe that I'd gone from really, you know, such a difficult season to, you know, to making the world's team, then to, you know, making that decision at the right time to be in that good position, to get into the breakaway. And then, you know, everything that unfolded along the way, all of the decisions that I made during the race, I was just having, thinking about the whole, whole thing when I was standing there on the podium and I couldn't believe that, that I'd done it, that it had all come together, you know. And there's been, I guess there's been a few people who have questioned along the way, you know, I'm new to cycling, have I been picking it up well enough and, you know, with my race tactical ability and I was just so proud to have, 
have achieved that and to, you know, to show everyone that I, mean, I am capable. The proudest thing was just watching the Australian flag come up and standing there in green and gold. It's a dream come true.